I have shot a video before about using GPUs in Cloud Run. Viewers asked in the comments about a realistic application using that setup. I built one. Let me show you. Hi, Jay. Welcome. You work at NVIDIA, right? Uh, what do you do there? Thanks for having me, Martin. Yes, I work at NVIDIA as a developer advocate. I help AI engineers harness the power of NVIDIA GPUs for building LLM applications. Very good. And you wrote a sample application that uses NVIDIA GPUs in Google Cloud, right? That's right. NVIDIA GPUs integrate seamlessly with the open source AI ecosystem. And Google Cloud provides excellent cloud infrastructure. Together, they make a great combo. And when talking to developers, it's always better to show code than slides. <laughs> yes, I agree. Let's dive in. My app is a smart health agent that will create personalized wellness recommendation, including exercises and diet. To do that, it asks me for my current daily routine. I'll enter that. I work at a desk, take daily walks and go to bed around midnight. An hour of walking every day. That's impressive. <laughs> yes, I, I try to do my best. Then I'll say that I live in San Francisco. I'll upload the medical records now. These are dummy records for John Doe created for the demo. Then I'll click on the activate button and the AI agent takes over. I love those AI agent workflows. We can see that the app responded. It considered my daily routine and the medical records. It even included the current weather when crafting a personalized recommendation. And it looks like you can ask uh, follow-up questions. Yes, that's right. I'll ask about my cholesterol levels. And here's the answer. It looks like I may have to watch my cholesterol. Very nice application, Jay. And uh, what AI model is it using? It uses Gemma 3 model uh, made by Google DeepMind, and it is GPU optimized. And then it runs some sort of agent workflow. Yes, let's have a look. Here is the Google Cloud Console. We are looking at Cloud Run logs. Here is the routine that I entered. Here, where it says RAG, it starts looking at the medical records that I uploaded. It found five documents and it split them up into chunks. Then it vectorized those chunks and added them into the vector store. And the vectorization, that's a fancy way of saying that you made the medical record searchable by the AI. Exactly. Now that the data is in place, it's time for the agents to start. First, the weather agent is called to get the current weather in San Francisco. That's the city I entered. And then it says something about an agent workflow. Yes, the routine analysis agent processes the entered information about the user's daily activities. The knowledge agent processes the medical reports and together they come up with a personalized health plan. That plan is streamed in real time to the user interface. And all this runs as a service in Cloud Run? Yes, it uses two services in Cloud Run. Here they are. The Smart Health App CPU service displays the user interface and takes the input from the user. It is a traditional web app without any AI. It uses CPUs only, no GPUs. Got it. I've named the other service Olama Gemma. It runs Gemma 3 on Olama. Olama is a tool that makes it easy to download and run large language models. I split my application into two services as they need different hardware and different scaling behavior. And the Olama Gemma service, that's the one that uses GPUs? Yes, it does. I'll click it. Then I'll click the pen icon here so we can look at the details of the service. Here in the resources section, it shows that the service is using single NVIDIA L4 GPU. Thanks for showing us this, Jay. 
I have some questions for you. Go ahead, Martin. I'm a developer, so I like to see code. I'm especially interested in how the multiple agents work together. I have open sourced this application so anyone can download it and adapt it to their needs. Here you can see how I use the line graph library to put the agents together in a workflow. I will include a link to your repo uh, from the video description below. So another option for agent orchestration would have been to use Google's ADK, Agent Development Kit, right? That's right, uh, but I'm more familiar with LineGraph, so I use that framework. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea to use the tools we have experience with. Now, uh, why is your application using its own copy of Gemma? Because another option would have been to call the Gemini API and not host your model yourself. The Gemini API works well for many applications, but if you want more control, you are better off hosting the model inside your own GPU cluster or cloud run service like I did. For example, you may want to fine tune your model for federated learning. Makes sense. How did you generate that user interface? Uh, it looked pretty good. Oh, thank you. I wanted to keep things simple, so I used Gradio library. I like it because it lets you define a web user interface in Python. Cool. Uh, I hadn't heard about Gradio before. How was your developer experience uh, building this app? It was pretty easy. Cloud Run is serverless, so I didn't have to reserve GPUs or provision any infrastructure. NVIDIA GPUs integrate seamlessly with open source AI ecosystem, and Google uh, Cloud provides excellent cloud infrastructure. Together, they make a developer's life simple. I like hearing that. Thank you for joining me today, Jay. Thanks for having me, Martin. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions for Jay or me, ask in the comments below. Also, please let me know what you thought of this episode. I love hearing from you, and I read every single comment. Now go build some great AI applications. <laughs>